Lately, it seems I've been seeing 1111 and 444 everywhere. What is that? Is it something spiritual? Yes, it is actually. So the way that the divine speaks to us or the way our divinity speaks to us is kind of out of context with normal waking life. When something is sacred, the way that it's defined in, in like scholarly terms, when something's sacred, it's set apart. So it's something that's unusual, that you don't really see it as normal. That's when people consider something sacred. So when you start to see the number 1111, Notice we're talking about there's only one thing. There's only love. There's only the divine. In the world of the divine, there's only unity. There's not two eyes. There's not the ego and then the thought of your divinity, the thought of God, capital T thought, and then and always that kind of battle between the two. There's only oneness. So when you start to see 1111, know that there are, as A Course in Miracles would put it, that if you knew who walked beside you always, you would never have fear again. And that there are legions of, of beings that are supporting us in the invisible world. That's why we want to get this lens of love really tuned into the focus where there's more going on in the invisible world. We've got legions of beings supporting us. And so when you see 1111, that's a symbol of oneness, that they, it's a joke, it's an inside joke. And you'll notice that if you are moving just a little bit too fast in your experience, you might start to see 110, like 110 as, you know, just slow it down a little bit and you'll be in sync with the divine. That your mind's going too fast or you're moving too fast and just notice it. It's a way for the divine realms to speak with us when they don't have the form and they don't have the voices that typically we would see from people on earth in human bodies. They use everything in life to speak with us. The, the number 4444, I started seeing that years ago myself um, and also not only seeing it, but being woken up at 4444 4, 4 in the morning. And uh, it was when my kids were small. So, you know, I, I coveted sleep. So I wasn't at first like really all on board with this waking up at 444 4, 4 in the morning until I realized that, you know, since I did have small kids, there were times when I said, I don't have enough time to meditate or to do things that were spiritually oriented because I was so busy with little children. When I got woken up at 444, I heard through different things after paying attention to it, I think I read somewhere or, or synchronistically came upon the experience of realizing it was the, the hour of the angels, 444 that when uh, you are awake at 444 in the morning or you find yourself seeing 444, it's because the, the angels have messages for you or want you to know that you're greatly supported. So I can see why at that time that I saw 444 um, as a, a, a regular occurrence because my limited mind was saying, I don't have enough time to do things that are spiritual. So here I get woken up in the middle of the night and couldn't sleep. So I had time to like journal or write or just be by myself. And uh, it didn't take away from my quality of life by making me tired in the day. It was energizing, it was, the, it was the energy of love. So I felt more full and fulfilled and then went right back to sleep and woke up refreshed in the morning. So just know that if you've been seeing that a lot lately and it's this fact that you ask if it's something spiritual means that you're kind of like in this world that you didn't even know you had entered, I would, really say that you must be focusing on love, especially if you didn't know that that's, those are spiritual symbols of significance. You must be focusing on love in your life. And the divine realms are trying to give you a message of stay on the path you're on. It's a good one. And let yourself realize that you are supported and you have legions of divine beings who love you so much that they want you to know with this kind of inside divine joke 
that they're present now. Now that I've said that, for anybody who hasn't yet experienced this or has only experienced it from time to time, just relax into the knowing that the divine realms love to communicate with us in all kinds of ways. The synchronicities in life are all the ways that the divine realms communicate with us. And, and I do personally love when I see 1111 during the day and multiple times a day, I love to catch that. I love to catch one, one, one also. Um, and I, I feel that I always stop for a moment and pause and say, what was I thinking or what was I doing? So that I know that that's specifically and particularly aligned with the divine, whatever action that was when I happen to glance up and see it or my phone, you know, comes, the light comes on my phone and it'll, and it'll say one, 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 one. So I love that you asked that question. I haven't talked about that before, and it's a beautiful way to really feel and know that you're being supported by the divine and that they're, they have a little private joke going with you and uh, don't want to freak you out or scare you. That's one thing that divine realms never do. They never promote fear in us. So that's a sweet, beautiful way to let us know about their presence that's not frightening and um, exciting that you're on a path, that you're in sync that way so just notice and feel good about that feel good about yourself that you're in a path that's so well lit and that the divine is speaking with you so tangibly about 